Months after the storm, flood channels still need attention, and there's so much money on the table, but is that money making it to the victims that need it? So we don't have records of how many families were impacted in totality from the floods. It's hard to tell what the need is if people are not engaging. Not every family whose home was impacted by the flood chose to stay at a hotel provided by the county's emergency temporary lodging program. Some chose to stay with friends, families, or had other accommodations. When my sister came to get me from, from the flood, the water was here and I don't swim. Maria Martinez was one of three people saved by her younger sister, Anna, during the January 22nd storm. It was hard to be in a hotel for a long time, just waiting the house to be fixed. Anna then took care of the entire family by signing them all up for the county's hotel program. But in the frenzy of the application process, all of their relatives' hotel rooms were under Anna's name. They helped my brother because he has a hotel room under his name. But since I didn't have any under my name because my sister was doing everything, so they don't want to help me with that. Leaving Maria falling through the cracks. Azucena Valladolid is the executive vice president of rental assistance with the San Diego Housing Commission. As of August 14th, the SDHC has dispersed about $1.3 million in assistance to support 137 families with housing assistance payments, hotel expenses, moving costs, and security deposits. The county um, provided us a list with the eligible families who would be eligible for our program. It's 359 families. So far, only 269 of those families have applied for financial assistance through a program. So there's about 90 families who are eligible for financial assistance but have not engaged with us. As Osena says, they're working to try to find those families and connect. And after that? Based on our analysis, we do think that we're going to expend those funds on the families that are eligible for assistance. So as of this time, our projections are that we're going to use all of the funding for the 359 families that are eligible to receive assistance. So for families who did not participate in the county's emergency transition lodging program and were impacted by the floods, I think the, the biggest point of contact to reach out to would be to 211 San Diego, where they could do some screening. Maria says she is holding on to her faith as she and an unknown number of other flood victims are left trying to figure out bureaucratic red tape while still trying to live day to day and hopefully one day rebuild. I sleep at the coast of my mom's house. Uh, they're going to repair the house, but it's going to take time. So I wish someone can help us to rebuild the house so I can go back and have my own space. Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8.